It's Chris from Chris Loves Crochet and Crochet Recreations and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute luxurious um, baby to hooded towel. So hang in there and um, I'll walk you through it. Okay. So I decided after I bought up a bunch of um, Bernat blanket to make those water balloons. If you guys have seen them, you should definitely do some. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on it. It's so easy. Anyway, um, with the idea that the blanket polyester yarn wicks up water so well that you could that it can soak and you can splash it on your friends and all that. And um, I have so much left over that I thought, hey, why don't I make a baby hooded towel? It'll be luxurious, nice and thick, and it will um, wick up the water from the baby after the baby has a bath. So I have this pretty one left over um, that is a baby blanket stripes. And um, I'm gonna do it the easiest way I know how, and that's with a big old granny square, and then a smaller granny square for the hood. So I will show you um, what I'm gonna do, um, but for a lot of you, that's enough information. So um, anyway, so let me just get started, get you guys started, and find the end of this that I pulled out. I like magic circles, so that's what I do. Or you can chain three and then use the chain, what, the first chain, third chain from the hook in order to do your, your loop. But um, I like to do this, so one, two, three, and I'm going to make, um, that counts as a double crochet, so I'm going to make two more, and that gives me the three double crochet. And then I'm going to make the corner. I'm going to chain two for the corner, and three more sets of three double crochet with chain two between. down a little bit. This is a little harder with the magic circle. It doesn't like to pull. So that's two sets, chain two, another three double crochet, one, two, three, that's three sets, chain two, one, two, three. And now everybody does this different. The way I like to do it, because I like to start off in the in the corner each time. Um, let me pull this in a little. Uh, the, so at the top of the chain, th instead of chaining two and then doing a slip stitch here, um, my chain, my corners are chain two. And so the equivalent of a chain two in height is a, is a half double crochet. So I'm going to do a half double. I'm not going to chain any from this last one. I'm going to do a half double crochet and end up on the right side of the, of the granny square. And I can keep going, um, all on the, on the same top without having to turn and without having to do any slip stitches to get to the center or whatnot. So at the top of the chain three, try to get two strands of this fluffy, wonderful blanket yarn is not so easy. There it is. Okay. So yarn over, pull up a loop. You got three loops on your hook, pull through all three. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, do the corner right over the uh, the half double crochet as if those are the chain. So we've got a kind of a stitch here and double crochet or a half double there. So I'm going to do half of the corner. Wait, sorry. 
I'm going to do half the corner. I'm going to chain up three. One, two, three, and two more. To make half of that corner and I'm going to jump to the next corner and I'm going to finish this corner at the end of the round. So I'm always starting in the corner, in the second half of the corner. So I'm going to jump over here, no chaining in between, and do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, no chain, jumping into the next corner, three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet, three, no chain, jumping into the next corner, the third corner, do three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet, no chain, jumping into this last or and first corner, uh, I only did three double crochet and so I'm going to do three more double crochet two, three, and then instead of chaining two, I'm going to do what? I'm going to do a half double, a half double crochet into the top of the chain three, getting a two strands. Thank you. And pulling through all three. So there we have it. So now on this next round, I'm going to do chain three, it's the first double crochet, two more, double crochet, this is pulling on me, get some yarn out. Now we're going into this center right here where we did not chain any, but you can see there's a hole there. So we're going to go right in there and do three double crochet which is how we handle each one of the breaks that are non-corners. It's just three double crochet. No chain. Go right into the next corner. Three double crochet. You know, a granny square. Chain two. And people have their own way of doing it. You can do it this way. You can do it your way. This is just how I do granny squares. And I was trying to think of a think of something. I'm not a big fan of granny squares. There's that next break. So we do no chains, just three double crochet. I was trying to think of a way to do the uh, do the blanket um, towel um, that, where I didn't have to border it. And so that's that's one thing that that um, granny squares are really good at because you're doing a border all the way around. I may end up doing a single crochet border, but I don't have to because every side is finished, right? You have no raw ends. Chain two, three, four, three, no chain, one, two, three, no chain, corner, one, two, three, four yarn, chain two, chain, two, three, 
three, no chain, last and first corner, do three double crochet, and then a half double into the top of the chain three. Gotta find it, go under two strands, and there you go, and then you start all over again. So, isn't that poofy? That looks yummy. It's funny, I took a, um, I went to a birthday dinner the other night and had made some of the, of the water balloons for um, my brother-in-law who was turning 50. And so it was just kind of one of those, if you're feeling, feeling old, go use the water balloons and, you know, do something young. And so, but when he took them out, everybody around the whole table had to take it and put it to their face and feel it because this yarn is so yummy and so soft. They wanted pillows made out of it. So um, I think this is gonna be wonderful for a, uh, a baby um, towel with a hood. So what I, I didn't tell you, and I'll try to remember to put it at the beginning, but in case I forget, this is a, a number six, a number six, and it says to use a num uh, an eight millimeter. I'm using a 10, um, mostly because it matches. No, I'm just kidding. Mostly because I just want it to be airy and poofy and not too tight so that it'll dry. So I'm using a 10 millimeter, not a number 10, but a 10 millimeter N slash P crochet hook for that. So I'm gonna keep going on this and then I will show you how far I get and then um, show you how to do the hood. All right, hang in there. All right, so I finished the, uh, the one big granny square and I used up most of the roll to make it um, 24, it's 23 now, 24. 24 inches, yeah, it's 24 inches um, across, I know I pulled that up, 24 inches across, um, so it's a 24 inch square, um, and then I'm going to make a, uh, a hood to go on the top, so um, out of this, I was hoping that I was going to have enough of the purple, which is why I did go ahead and make a border of single crochet, and what I did in the corners where there was the uh, the chain two, I put three single crochets in each corner um, to make sure that it laid down flat and uh, did single crochet in each one of the double crochet around. And this is all I have left, so I don't think that that's gonna be enough to make a hood. So what I'm gonna, I do have this blanket yarn left over told you I had a lot left over from those um, water balloons. <laughs> so I have this left over of Bernat blanket and it matches um, the cream in here. So I'm going to make the hood out of this. And um, so what I'm going to do is just make a, uh, um, make a smaller um, granny square that's probably about 10 inches. Make maybe about 10 inches. I should probably get my little, um, hold on. All right, so I went and got my little um, toddler mannequin head. It's not the size of an infant, but it'll do. And so to figure out, put him right there. He's losing his eyelashes, poor little guy. I gotta find some glue for him. Um, so to figure out <clears throat> the size, excuse me, of the, uh, of the um, granny square for the for the hood, I need to find out how deep we need to go. So if this is the crown of his head, so we go to five inches there, and that's with it folded. So we need a ten inch square. So that's what I'll be making is a ten inch square, and that's probably about five rounds. Um, so that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so I finished the the square for the for the hood and I went ahead and 
with the little bit that I had left, did a single crochet uh, border on it so that it'll go with the with the, the towel part a little bit better. And so with that, it's about 11 inches, a um, little over 11 inches uh, square. And so with that border, what I did was I left a long tail so that I could da, 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 seam it up. And what I'm going to do is seam it up inside out. And I'll start from the front here, front of the of the hood and um, use a large embroidery darning whatever finishing needle bent tip to do that so I'm gonna thread my needle with this big giant fluffy yarn and just start at the end here And go from so I ended it with two I had three single crochet in each corner and but when I ended it I ended it on the second one so I'm gonna start in the second one and start in the back loop and go to the second single crochet on this one and go into the back loop and I'm just going to do a whip stitch. And so it's going to be the back loop to the back loop. Back loop to back loop. You guys see here's the V. And since I have it inside out, there's the V. So I go into this back loop. And this back loop. There's the V. I'm going skip to skip the front loop and go into the back loop. and just all the way down so I get to the end and it's an odd number so then since there's one that's left out I don't want it to poke out so I'm gonna go into that one too and actually use it to make a make a knot and then I will weave in my tail here I think I've had too much caffeine today my hands won't stop shaking I don't know if you can see it can you see my hands shaking too much caffeine all right so that's one the knot you don't have to do I just always I try to do that whenever I can as added insurance and then I go back and forth three times two and can get in there with my little shaky hands And three. Then I'll cut that off. Flip it back up to the right side. And we have this cute little hood that goes on the cute little baby with the cute little point because it was a square. Isn't that cute little elf looking thing? So now what I need to do, oh, this eyelash is coming off now too. I should probably just take them off. Well, they just come right off. Oh, not that one. There we go. He's got no eyelashes. I'll get some, I'll get some glue. I'll fix them. I'll fix them. Um, so anyway, so we have our little elf hat. And now what we need to do probably should have done it before but I'm not going to obviously because I've already done this so what I'm gonna do is make sure that I have the front here and I do not there's the 
here's the front and this is the good side and this is the good side and so I'm gonna put it together like this like this um, I don't know why I don't I don't know should the good side be on the outside when you wrap the baby up maybe so so we have the inside here and the inside here okay that's fine so we put the two good sides together but I'm gonna have to count stitches hold on I'm gonna count starting not on the corner I'm gonna count stitches starting in the double crochet so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 33 33 and something to write on we've got 33 across and I want to put down two out of the three corner single crochets. Sew those on. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I want to stitch nineteen inside the 33 19 so if I subtract that that gives me 14 that I will not be um, stitching into of the the row here so that divided by 2 gives me 7 on each side that I will not be stitching into so I'm going to start in the 8th so I'm going to begin on the eighth stitch. Okay? And sewing that together. So I have a little bit of purple left. Should be enough. This is the inside, this is the inside. We're going to put the right sides together. I'm going to count up. Well, first I'm going to cut some of this. I'm going to cut it double the length, which is what I do for whip stitches, and it's way too long, but then I know that I have enough to, got a little doggy hair on here, that I have enough to, um, to weave in. So I'm going to thread my needle, oh my gosh, I just had coffee on top of a, a bang energy drink, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to create a slip knot on the end here to start my, let me drink some regular water, Ooh. there we go, um, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to count in my stitches from the from where I was counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is where I'm going to start. And I want two of the corner ones. So I'm gonna go back back loop to back loop again. Pull it through. And then the reason why I did this um, this little slip knot at the end pull it tight on my needle, pull it through, then I know I have a knot at the end. So even though I'm going to weave in this tail, I know that's knotted down and it's not coming off. So now I'm going to go back loop to back loop. All the way across the hood that tail out of the way just a whip stitch with way too much yarn just 
face. It's so soft. Make a big giant one for me. I get out of the shower. I feel like I'm staying at a resort or something. It's so luxurious. All the way down to the end of the hood. Back loop to back loop with the right sides facing each other. And to make sure that I go into two of the single crochets in the corner. So that was that. So this is the first. Make sure, yep. This is the first and second and I'm gonna do it one more time in that same stitch and do a knot because that's what I do gosh look at all this extra yarn I wasted oh well so pull that knot and now I'm gonna hide my tails Somewhere in here. I'm gonna go back and forth three times. In the purple, not in any contrasting color. Not gonna get over there into the beige or anything. So one. Two. And three. Okay. There we go. And then we can cut this off. And Ooh, it's on a good. What did I do? And we can sew this in. Maybe. Is that end too frayed? Are you afraid, you little end? <coughs> Go into this purple. Back and forth three times if I've got the length there to do it. So that's one. And we've got the knot in it too. Two. Come on. Get the end of it out of there. Yep, got it up. Go three. Off. Put the ends and the ends and the trash and all that, put it away. And now we have, you can't see the whole thing, but there it is. It's the yummy, yummy towel blanket thing with the hood. So the baby gets out of the bath, you put the hood on, then the baby has a body. <laughs> You cover it up and it's so nice and soft and pretty so I hope you like that and um, learn something from it and um, oh let me show you what I so I used up this Bernat baby stripes baby blanket stripes. I have this much left. Bernat baby stripes. And it was how many yards in this big cake? 220 yards. And that was for just the towel part and then some of the um, some of the border. And then I also used some of this Bernat blanket 
that is 100 yards, 108 yards. Um, and I used about half of it. And I want to show y'all something. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see it? $1.99. I went to Tuesday morning and they had all kinds of, and you know, all Tuesday mornings are different. I don't even know if you have one. But I got some fantastic deals. This was $1.99. So I got several of those. That's why I had so much extra. I got several of those for the um, the um, the um, the water balloons. And then this ring I had already ordered online, so I paid full price for it. So it came in, and I had already made all my um, all my water balloons. So I had it left over to make this. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I hope you learned something, and I appreciate it. Um, if you like it, like the video, please like underneath. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Um, ring that bell so that click on that bell so that you get notified of any uh, new videos that come out. And also check out my Facebook group. Um, it's growing, and I would love to see you guys post some of your stuff out there. And um, thank you very much. And um, we always have a choice, so please choose happy. Thank you. Bye.